This lesson is about plotting points in the plane. Now the plane has two axes. The horizontal line is the x-axis. You can think of this as a real number line. The vertical line is the y-axis, and this is another real number line. The plane itself is the two-dimensional surface that the x-axis and the y-axis lay in. So you can think of the board itself as the plane. A point in the plane has coordinates x and y. The x-coordinate is how far to the right or to the left that the point is from the middle. And the y-coordinate is how, how far up or down that the point is from the middle. So going right is a positive x direction, going left is the negative x direction, going up is the positive y direction, and going down is the negative y direction. Now let's look at some examples of how we plot points in the plane. First, let's look at the point 0, 0. This means that we go 0 to the left or right, and 0 up or down. So we end up right in the middle. This point is sometimes called the origin. Now let's look at the point 4, 2. Since we have an x value of 4, that means we'll go to the right by 4, and we have a y value of 2. And now the positive direction for y is up, so we'll go up 2. And this gives us the point 4, 2. Now let's look at negative 1, 5. Our x value is negative, so we'll go to the left 1. And our y value is still positive, so we'll go up 5. And this gives us the point negative 1, 5. Now let's look at negative 3, negative 4. Our x value is negative again, so we'll go to the left by 3. And our y value is negative, so we'll go down 4. This gives us negative 3, negative 4. Now let's look at 2, negative 2. This time our x value is positive, so we'll go to the right 2. And our y value is negative, so we'll go down 2. This gives us the point 2, negative 2. When both the x and the y values are positive, like in the case of 4, 2, we say that we're in the first quadrant. When the x value is negative and the y value is positive, the point is in the second quadrant, like the point negative 1, 5. When both the x and the y values are negative, we say that the point is in the third quadrant, like the point negative 3, negative 4. And if the x value is positive, but the y value is negative, we say that the point is in the fourth quadrant, like the point 2, negative 2. But what happens when either the x value or the y value is 0? Let's consider the point 2, 0. Well, since we have the x value of 2, we'll go to the right by 2, but the y value is 0, so we don't go up or down at all. So our point is right on the x-axis. This is the point 2, 0. But what if x is 0, like with the point 0, negative 4? Well, since our x value is 0, we don't go to the left or to the right at all. And our y value is negative 4, so we'll go down 4. So this is the point 0, negative 4. So when the y value is 0, as in the case of 2, 0, the point is right on the x-axis. And when the x value is 0, as in the point 0, negative 4, the point is right on the y-axis.